Hello again, we are back, we're back in Shushar and the process is underway. The weather is clammy and slightly cold, but it doesn't really mean anything to the protesters here because they are very determined, they shall not be moved. And I've spoken to many people, some of them have been here, they were here yesterday, they've been through one sleepless night and they wouldn't mind another sleepless night and indeed a couple of sleepless nights because they've got clear demand, they are worried, they have got legitimate concerns about the illegal exploitation of Azerbaijan's natural resources. Uh, and the Russian peace keeping contingent uh, members, the soldiers, they're simply standing there, they are staring, sometimes they're moving, uh, and uh, it's very clear they've been given a clear instruction not to speak to protesters, which is perfectly understandable. But what is not understandable, which we cannot fathom, is that uh, the Russian peacekeeping contingent is not fulfilling its duties. We understand that its mandate is not clear, it's not fully fledged, and the 10 November uh, declaration uh, does have three articles, Article 3, Article 4 and Article 5 about them and only Article 5 relate to their function and it's about exercising control over the ceasefire regime. But does this mean that they should stop Azerbaijani citizens from entering their own sovereign territory, their own country? I very much doubt it. And people here share the same sentiment. Thank you very much indeed.